Okay, so in the last video, we basically assigned or we created a cloud from a distribution, but we didn't actually have a clean domain name assigned to it. So we're going to do that in today's video and we're going to do that using Route 53 using AWS. However, when we get to the end of the video, as you'll see, there's a few more things that we need to do, but we'll cover that in the next video. So let's get into it and creating our domain name. So now what we're going to do is actually apply a nice domain name. So if you remember from last time, we have our S3 bucket, which has a fairly ugly domain name. And we also have our CloudFront distribution, which also now has a, an ugly domain name, which haven't really achieved what we thought we were going to set out to, which is in the Cloud Resume Challenge. Point six was to use a custom domain name. Now, setting up that CloudFront distribution was just a stepping stone so that we could apply this DNS. So let's go ahead and do that today. Now to apply DNS, what we're going to do is create a root 53 record. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this over into my template as well. So just above my distribution, I'm going to stick my root 53 record. So what I've got in here is I've got a root 53 record set and I've got a hosted zone ID, which I'll talk about in a second. And I have my new website URL here, which is website and this domain dot info. I'll talk about that in a second. And it's alias through to at my distribution's domain name. So if you notice here, the distribution is the same name and we're getting the domain name of that distribution. So what this is basically doing is pointing this URL to our CloudFront distribution. Now, there's a couple of things that are in here that I'll show you. So hosted zone ID here is hard coded. I've got don't hard code me over here on both the hosted zone and the website name. Now, the thing is, the reason that I've got that is because I'm using the A Cloud Guru Sandbox. If I go into Route 53, the way that the A Cloud Guru Sandbox works is that it has pre-configured uh, record domain names in there for me. So I've got this sort of random looking domain name, which is what I'm going to use. And what I've done is I've just copied that through and just hard coded that in my file over here. So that is the same as this one over here. So just ignore that to do don't hard code me. In your case, you probably want to actually buy a domain name, in which case you'll actually have a hosted zone associated with that domain name as well. But in my case, that's already been set up for me because I'm using, as I say, the A Cloud Guru sandbox. Now, so we've added that root 53 record in there. Let's go ahead and run that. So make deploy infra. We'll go ahead and clear the screen and start deploying that root 53 record. Okay, so that has actually now gone ahead and created my root 53 record. If I go back into AWS and I do a quick refresh and I scroll down here, what I should see is now when I make a request to website.cmcloudlab515.info, that should redirect me to cloudfront.net. So actually, let's go ahead and have a go going to that domain name, Ooh, wrong one. There we go. And we've got 403 error here. Now, we're going to deal with that in the next uh, next video rather than in this one. And the reason for that is actually because our CloudFront distribution isn't actually allowing this root 53 record to access it. However, we have created it. So we're another step forward. Now, one of the things that I want to point out as well is also this hosted zone ID. Now this looks kind of interesting and actually this is not hard coded. If you notice, I also don't have a to do hard, don't hard code me here. And the reason for that is quite interesting. And it's actually the specific ID that relates to CloudFront. If you want to learn more about that, you can actually go and stick it into Google and have a quick read. It's kind of interesting and a little nuance and a, a little bit of trivia about AWS and how it works. Cool. So as I said at the start, basically, we've got our domain name set up, but now you'll see that there's the 403 error because our CloudFront distribution just needs to allow that domain name to be calling through to the CloudFront distribution. So we'll get that done in the next video, but we're inching closer each time. Cool. See you in the next video.